Well, Miss Talbot, do you think that Marie Kovac could have made those phone calls? No, I did. Do you mind telling us why? I was a patient of Dr. Strauss's for a while when I lived in Houston. We've kept in contact since I moved to Oakdale. I see. Is there anything else you want to know? No, you're free to go. Thank you. Um, there is one question I'd like to ask you, if I may. What's that? Am I correct in inferring you're no closer to finding the murderer than you were in the beginning? We're exploring all possible avenues. Forgive me for saying so, but until you can find a way to bring Ken Wayne back for questioning, you're never going to have the answers you need. Steve around? Uh, he's out on a condo job. He'll be back any minute. Oh, do you mind if I just wait for him? No, go ahead. So, what are you gonna do for New Year's Eve? Oh, I've been invited to Dusty and Lily's, but I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna oh. go. Oh, go, go. We're gonna go. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, if you feel funny about going alone, you can come with us. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, okay. Wait. Hi. Oh, I'm the, uh, former of the hospital crew's outside. Yeah, yeah, I, I got their checks. This I got is a nice check. surprise. Mm -hmm. What brings you here? Well, you. I haven't seen much of you since Christmas, you know. I know. Oh, this condo job. But I'll tell you, it's going to put me in a league with the Miller Brothers, baby. And as soon as I get, as soon as I get it going, then I'm going to break ground on our house set, all right? And when we, when we break ground, I want you to break a champagne bottle over the bulldozer. What do you say? Come on, yeah? Come on. What are you doing there? Every time I talk about the new house, you do that. You what know, that I mean? did live in that area, in a big house with Craig, you know. All right. This is not the same thing at well, all. And I don't like putting the cabin up for collateral, either. I really well, don't. Well, a baby house, are we going to get a loan? Well, that's another thing. I, I feel like we're beholding to so many people now with the charge accounts and all the money the bank. Okay, if you want, all right, do you want to own the house? We can just save our whole life and then we go over the threshold in a wheelchair. You well, it's going to be all right? ours. Yeah, it will be all ours, but it is now anyway. Ask anybody. Look, if you want to build a house, you got to borrow money. That's just the way you play. I just wish you would have asked me first. Well, then it wouldn't have been much of a Christmas present, would it? <laughs> Look, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I will, I will, I will. Will you make me a promise? Yes. Okay, my New Year's resolution is that I will not be jealous of Craig, all right? If you will just stop worrying about money. Okay, deal? Mm. Deal? Deal. That's my girl. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, Kevin, I need a uh, change of these. Yeah, sure. Fives and tens, okay? Mm. Oh, and some ones. Ones, all right. Kevin, uh, there's something I've been wanting to ask you. Yeah, shoot. Did you say anything to the cops about me uh, making deposits, uh, you know, at the bank for Marsha sometimes? Well, uh, I never knew you did. Yeah, well, uh, she didn't trust Marie, so when she was too busy, she asked me to go a couple of times. The only reason I brought it up is because they asked me if I knew you took the deposit the night Marsha was attacked. And I, you told them that I didn't, right? Right. I mean, you told me you were leaving, but I didn't know where you were going. Right. Uh, I just didn't tell them that I used to do it before you started working here. Well, uh, I couldn't have said anything because I didn't know anything about it. Why don't you just relax, man, because I'm their number one suspect until this darn deposit bag turns up. Are you? Are you still a suspect in uh, Marie's murder, too? Yeah, uh, but I really would rather not talk about it. I mean, it's bad enough to have to work at her old desk. Oh, I bet. She was a piece of work, wasn't she? Well, uh, I better get back downstairs. Yeah, okay. Oh, thanks. Okay. Hey, AJ. How you doing? Hey, Kevin. Hey, what are you doing up here? Oh, come on, relax. We shook hands Christmas Eve, remember? Oh. And I decided Heather's right. We're not doing each other any good by fighting all the time. We gotta put our heads together, figure out who's been setting us up. Well, I'll be. First thing you gotta do is believe me when I tell you I didn't take that envelope off your desk. All right, well, Jay, you were Let the only person up there at the time. Let me finish a second. There is someone that could have taken that envelope, if you think about it. Who? Marsha Talbot. And she could have found that button that got ripped off my coat when we had that fight in here that day, and she could have planted it on Cal. Are you crazy? What's so crazy about it? Uh, Marsha Talbot has been the only friend I've had through this whole nightmare. Why would she want to set me up? Think about it. Maybe she's just pretending to be your friend, and she's setting both of us up at the same time. 